So every week in CS 125 on Tuesdays, you're going to take a proctored quiz. I think there's like one quiz this semester that we're going to miss because it's one of the days off. Um, but we'll take 14 quizzes. Three of them will be what we call midterms, but are really just quizzes that you can't drop. Um, here's how this is going to work. So you're going to go, the first thing you're going to do is going to log on to Zoom. We'll provide more instructions about the Zoom call to join um, on the forum. Um, but during your assigned lab time, you should show up on Zoom in this call. You should configure Zoom. You need to install it on your phone and then set it up so that the proctor, a TA, can monitor your work environment. At that point, you're going to navigate to the website and you're going to go over here to the quiz area. Now, what you'll see here is that uh, right now, I'm acting as a student here and I see two assessments. So the first one is the quiz that you're actually going to take tomorrow on Tuesday this week. That's quiz zero. This is a syllabus quiz. It's not hard. Don't worry about it. The questions are all multiple choice and you can answer them as many times as you want. So there's no real reason to not get a perfect score on this quiz. However, if you want to practice with our quiz system, there is also a practice quiz available for you to take, which is marked as PQ0. So I'm going to start that. And this is going to give you a sense of what the quiz environment looks like. So you can read through the text here on your own. Um, our quizzes comprise two types of questions. We have programming questions. Um, these are small programming problems similar to the homework problems that you'll do on every lesson, except um, in a quiz environment. Um, so here's an example. Uh, I can submit this. The programming questions on the quiz you can typically submit as many times as you want, except for the fact that, as you'll see over here, the quizzes are time limited. So at some point you're going to run out of time and the quiz will close. Uh, multiple choice questions typically tomorrow because it's the quiz just to get you set up and get you comfortable uh, with the quiz system. Those multiple choice questions you can answer as many times as you want. Typically that's not true. So for this multiple choice question you'll see that uh, the first attempt 20 points are available. The second attempt 10 points are available. Um, so let's be a little silly here and answer this incorrectly. So I'll choose dog. Uh, that's not an animal that starts with an A. That's incorrect. And so you'll see I didn't get those points. Uh, there's a few notes about the quiz system that are uh, listed on this practice quiz. One is that um, you do not, we do not show you which of your multiple choice answers were incorrect. So you have to, you know, this is in order to promote learning. Um, all right, so let's say I answer it correctly the second time. You'll see that now the question is also hidden. So once you get a question right, or you run out of opportunities to finish the question, uh, the question is hidden. And again, these are just some steps that we take for exam security to make sure that every student has a fair chance to complete uh, the exam. Okay, so I'll give you a sense of what the programming uh, questions look like. So I'm going to submit this. This is wrong. Um, it's going to think for a minute, and then eventually it's going to tell me, uh, you know, this, uh, this isn't correct. Um, and then I'll have a chance to, it'll tell me a little bit about what, what was wrong, and then I'll have a chance to fix it. Uh, just like the other questions, once I finish a programming question, it is also hidden. Um, and so this is also allowed, designed to allow you to, to focus. So the questions that you can see are the ones that you still have to finish. So at this point, you'll see that I have 50 points. Let's just finish this. Um, obviously, that's true. And then uh, we know the answer to this question. Once the, you finish the quiz, so either two things happen. You run out of time or you've earned all the points that are available to you. So if you get some multiple questions wrong, those points are no longer available to you. But at some point, if you have the maximum number of points that you can earn on the quiz, it will close automatically. And you'll see that that just happened. So now I'm back at the quiz page. Now, when you take a proctored quiz, you'll see here that I can't start this assessment yet. There's no start uh, button. This is because it hasn't been unlocked by a TA. So when you take a proctored quiz, you're going to have to wait for the TA to unlock the quiz for you. Once that happens, you hit this button and you can start the assessment and the time will start. Um, so that's how that works in the Proctor Quiz environment. So you'll get some practice with this on Tuesday when you take your first uh, quiz, which again, is kind of a silly syllabus quiz just to get you comfortable with the quiz system. Uh, and we'll post more details about the Zoom call that you need to join on the course forum.